An update now on the gubernatorial candidates removed from the Republican primary ballot over those fraudulent petition signatures. Perry Johnson's campaign is suing, filing an appeal to the canvassing board's decision. The Craig and Brandenburg campaigns tell Local 4 they're working on theirs. But tonight we're talking with someone whose signature wound up on James Craig's petition, only says he didn't sign it. Rod Maloney live tonight with that story, Rod. Yeah, Devin, here's the state's report on those petitions saying that these fraudulent uh, petitions were filed by people, and it lists the name, a laundry list, a long laundry list. One of those signature gatherers had 464 petition signatures for James Craig. One of those names on there, Keith Johnson, the former president of the Detroit Federation of Teachers, the Teachers Union. He says his name may be there, but it's not his signature. As police chief, I had no problem. Uh, as a candidate for governor, I could not have supported him, even if he had been a Democrat. Keith Johnson says he's never met, nor does he even know who the petition collector is here. And yet there, on line six of the petition, is Johnson's name, supposed signature, and address. It was upsetting, it was disturbing, and it, and it was disappointing. So adamant is Johnson, this is a forgery. He went to an attorney so he could sign an affidavit swearing to that fact. He also filed a report with Detroit police. Whatever means he or they used in order to use my signature and my name and my address is, is extremely troubling because it then makes you wonder who else has access to that type of information and what could they do with it. So what do we know about this petition gatherer? Well, he doesn't live at the address he put in his petition sheet. 19764 Santa Barbara in Detroit does not exist. But just two doors down from where that address should sit is the man's home, the mail in the door addressed to him. No one answered the door when we knocked, but we are curious to know more from him. Keith Johnson is too. But you still fraudulently used my name and my signature on an official document. And so as it stands right now, we've knocked on the door a couple of times. Though there's a car there, nobody has answered that door. In the meantime, you might be surprised to know that Keith Johnson believes that not only was he a victim, he also thinks that Chief Craig was a victim in all of this because of the fraud. He wants to see where this goes. He would like to see the AG's office really return a tough investigation. Reporting in Detroit Live, Rod Maloney, Local 4.